Hello everyone, I'm doing a screen recording. I'm going to show you some pictures. I'm going to discuss a few topics. First I'll start, it's gonna be Instacart, Uber Eats, delivered. Instacart, I had it on for like an hour and a half today. And I got two bogus offers that $9 and $11 just wasn't worth taking, so I didn't take it. Very, very slow. That was it. And I, I didn't leave until like 12.30 in the afternoon because I was working in the morning. And I said, well, let me go out for three and a half, four hours. And that's exactly what I did. Then I, I worked Uber Eats. I'll show you that now. Uber Eats earned 55 $55.81. But now I'm getting used to, they're training me. Oh, they definitely, I'm getting trained. They want you to sign into the opportunities and they want you to sign up. They need to know, are you going to be out there in the field, you know, working the working our app? We'll give you $1.50 extra every trip, but they're sending out really low offers. You have to wait for a good payout. Then 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., then this one, it jumps to 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., $2.50. And that's what they've been doing, and I'll tell you. When I turn on Uber Eats now, before I do it, I check the opportunities to see, you know, what, what is the bonus for today? They're training me. They want to know that we're going to have 12 people out in that area. They all signed up for it. You know, they need to know. It's just incredible the subtle changes, how it trains people to work in the future mm -hmm. okay let's talk about delivered yesterday monday i got a last minute offer and i was half dressed which was great it was 28 and change and i completed that one now yesterday uh, monday night they sent me an offer i picked it up in westbury but off of post avenue i dropped it off to rockville center to a building that i deliver uber eats to all the time and i knew it and a little bit of hard parking, but I'm used to Rockville Center. And it was the time of day that I knew I at, at least I would get a spot close. And I did. Right off of Sunrise Highway. And it paid $30. So I was really happy. I was very happy. But I'm going to talk about some things that went down. This place was good, but they gave no boxes. But it didn't need it for this one. Do you see these two containers here? One is pinto beans, one is black beans. And those plastic containers wrapped in saran wrap, no spillage. One tin was salad, a tin was chicken, a tin was some kind of other beef, two rices, and something else. Utensils. Oh, and... The dressings, which I asked them to wrap up in plastic, and they did not argue with me at all. But no um, serving spoons and no tongs. But the lady was so nice. We have some in the back. She was more concerned. Did we receive everything? Yes, they did. That's just another angle. But you see, see how the beans are wrapped up? That's how, the, I feel that's how places should wrap them up because it was a lot easier to transport and no spillage no spillage i put those two containers in the middle of the half trays you see that why did i do that and i didn't place anything on top of those tins with the holes in them because when you lift the bag the trays go in like this and because of experience I said, let me put those two containers in there. I pick up from this place often with Uber Eats, so I was familiar. I knew what I was walking into. And they worked with me, and they were very nice, but no boxes. They did wrap the, the beans up properly. I mean, that's, that's, that solves the problem, too, of leakage, seepage from the half tins. Now, tomorrow, I'm delivering a guac order from garden city to long beach i won't give specific times whatever however when i get in i'm going to ask 
You have pinto beans, you have black beans. Can you please put the half trays, if they wrap it up that way, in a tray, then in the box? And if they say no, I'm not going to give any beef. I'm going to show them a picture. If they still say no, I'm bringing these, paper, these plastic bags with me. When I get to my trunk and my little hatchback, I will take out the one bag. I will t remove the box and put the box in plastic bags and then place the box. You know what I mean? The half box with the handles, with the half trays, with the pinto beans and the black beans and place it in a plastic bag and then place the box with the beans in my delivery bag. I'm not dealing with the mess anymore. And I'm going to show them a picture. And I also have a scissor in my car that I'm going to use it just to cut the top. I'm going to leave the tins in the bag with all the juice and everything when I place it on the countertop. I'm not dealing with broken cardboard containers, a mess. I have to search for napkins. I'm in the office longer than I need to be. The last job, the woman actually checked up on me, but then she left me alone because she had enough common sense. I'll give her a few minutes. She's working on it. She knows what she's doing. And then she checked on me one more time. And I was like, I just have to take pictures. I was about to take pictures. And she was like, wow, thank you so much. Beautiful job. I mean, she was very appreciative because that was a tight kitchen and I laid everything out just right, put all the spoons out, all the serving tongs. She knew what I was working with. I made a mess. The, the beans made a mess. People might laugh about that. It's the sauce that the beans are in. It's not the beans. It's the sauce that's moving around in the tins that's seeping, even if it's wrapped in saran wrap. And then it's Going through the cardboard, the last delivery on Monday, that was only a 15-minute drive. I'm going from Garden City to Long Beach tomorrow. I'm not dealing with that. I'm bringing this as a backup. And if I have to, I will buy these and write them off as a deductible when I deliver. And if, it's, if my request is not followed or they don't comply, I will write to the company. Because I feel... If you want me to represent your business name with a, you know, with represent it in a good way, then you have to work with me too. Cause I'm telling you, and I'm showing you in video what happens when liquid food is not wrapped up properly, right? So that's how those beans were. And I said, can I have a bag, please? And they were wrapped up in saran wrap. But I took that bag and I put it in between the half tins. And here you can see I have, I ended up moving this around when I got to my car because there were no boxes involved. But that wasn't leakage food. That was chicken or something like that. And that was a whole tray of chicken. The other tin, I'm not sure what it was. And I have this one box in my trunk that's, it's about two to three inches thick, but I put half trays on top of that to prevent, to prevent this happening. You, two half trays, you lift the bag, trays go like this. If you take precaution, that won't happen. So I f hope you found the video interesting. Tomorrow, have it open. I'm going to earn sixty-three dollars and forty-seven cents for delivering from Garden City to Long Beach. And if anything is worth sharing, I'll share it with you. If it's a smooth delivery, I'm not going to bother. You know, I'll just save that for the next video. Opportunities, check out delivered, D L I V R D dot I O forward slash drive, and see if that is available in your area and you can deliver. Tomorrow is a medium size offer. Order because it's $375 from the guac shop. And because I've delivered from the guac shop before, I understand that total bill is a medium size order. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye everybody.